Hello, guys and gals, I'm back. I'm not dead. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm on a vacation from the, uh, from the, uh, military training. A weekend vacation. And an extend one. Uh, since I left this, uh, Monday off as well. So I decided to record something. And what, and decided that well, I'm gonna record War Fortress because it's the best game ever. Yeah, I have a cold, but let's not let that uh, bother us too much. Uh, we left off. Um, everything was going smoothly. I think everything is still going smoothly. Uh, we're planning the arena, which. Um, is now ready for phase two of the construction, and um, phase two two is uh, go to dig, go to channel, and uh, start doing this. Um, let's see here. this um, you can uh, we dig channels down into the lower chamber from this uh, upper one oh, shit. Uh, that's not gonna work <clears throat> so this we'll play some statues here or something uh, and uh, um, once the uh, once you have the uh, Sort of uh, outskirts, the uh, outer ones uh, dug out. Oh, hold on, I have to adjust my brightness. For some reason, uh, I can't really see stuff properly on my normal brightness setting on this game. Like that. Once you have these uh, spaced out, then you leave uh, two spaces between each. This. Um, of course, I fucked up, and I need to leave more space here as well. Just the wall, you need to leave only one uh, space from, where you're from, whatever. Can't speak properly right now for some reason. All right, channel there, channel there, channel there. Worked out nicely now. I guess I did calculate it correctly. I was planning this. Just been a while. Yeah, it's pretty much sucks of training, really, because you don't really get any free time. You can't, you know, go home and play Dwarf Fortress or anything. <laughs> when you're done with the training, you just sit around and with a thumb up your ass. So yeah, um, every hole we were gonna dug has two spaces between them. And we're gonna assign this whole area that's not uh, filled with holes into uh, cage stockpiles. And the way these channels work, the dwarves will dig out the floor and thus revealing a uh, passageway to the lower chamber here. Once the miners get to it. Abstract picture, Jasper. Alright. Uh, Yep. What else were we doing? I think we should be digging down. <laughs> oh, we have actually have found the uh, caverns. That's good. Um, there's not much here, though. Um, well, there's gonna be a, lo a whole lot of uh, unholy evils from the depths. At some point, probably, but uh, until then, um, we're just gonna. Tissel Peregrine has reverted to a wild state. Right. We also, I think we defeated that zombie siege earlier, which was good. Oh yeah, we'll g we're just gonna keep on digging deeper. 
J downward stairway and then we're gonna pick the old up down stairway which is I yep it is gonna start digging down again there Let's see what we find hopefully not we won't awaken an, an ancient evil ancient evil or something uh, as you do when you're dwarf, you, you usually end up awakening some sort of ancient evil. Um, something in the darkness. Uh, what are these elves doing? Are they leaving or coming in? Not sure. Oh well. I've struck native gold. That's good. That's really good. <clears throat> I'm gonna mine it all out. Uh, this. Well, yeah, I'm pretty excited for the uh, for the next update. It's gonna add a lot of a lot of really exciting stuff like uh, climbing, jumping. Uh, so you're not gonna your old defense plans are probably not gonna work out, which is good. I just hope they add some sort of a. Uh, uh, I hope they, or did I say that they, uh, it's just Toady, uh, mainly Toady, I mean, I, his brother does help out, help out with stuff though, so props to him, he's probably a pretty big help, overall, um, at least the way I've been reading the, uh, dev blog, but yeah, anyway, it's gonna be pretty good. I've just gone into uh, modding this game myself, kind of giving up on the other stuff. But this game, what I like about modding this game is uh, you don't have to worry about the graphic graphics. That's my main reason. I like to make stuff and make it work in a certain way, but I don't like having to draw or something. You know these pixelated graphics, and then trying to uh, figure out how they. How they're gonna fit in with the characters and stuff. No, you know, I don't have to worry about that in this game. <laughs> I've just begun to uh, implement some magic stuff on my, on pretty much all the uh, main sentient races. You know, the goblins, elves, dwarves, and such. Uh, so far, I've just made uh, sort of the geomancer for the dwarves. And fire mages for the for everyone else. Um, the fire mages are pretty powerful currently when I've tested it, and it makes the combat definitely more exciting in some respects. But I'm hoping to next make a sort of fire shield spell, which is just basically uh, a creature uses it and becomes fireproof for a while, but not. Dragon fireproof though. Things to note. Uh, I'm also gonna go into syndromes probably today before I depart back to the uh, shit hole, back to the training. Um, yeah, because you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with syndromes that you can't really do with uh, with the other stuff with interactions and so on. Although you do have pretty good interaction for syndromes as well which just adds syndrome to the target I don't I won't have to uh, figure out you know making a vaporous trail stuff and the way it contracts no I could just add it uh, straight you know straight in although I would like to make uh, sort of a sleeping mist kind of thing for the elves or something who knows if you're not, if you haven't modded anything, you probably won't understand what I'm talking about. Although, if you've played Dwarf Watches, you probably do understand what I'm talking about. And, of course, that's not really advanced modding stuff, so even if you've just looked at the rolls, you're gonna <laughs> understand what I'm talking about, because that's basically what I've been doing. I've been looking at the rolls, uh, trying to figure out stuff that way, and I've also been looking into the Dwarf Watches wiki, and, uh, 
the interaction tokens. Sadly, the modder stuff is not gonna feature in this this playthrough because the way it works, it would well basically if it's not part of the historical generation, it's not gonna show up here, and I think that's good because it would kind of I think it would break the game, as in it would genuinely break <laughs> stuff would stop working and stuff if, if you could just add stuff although you can modify existing raws in the uh, save file you can't really add new ones because that's gonna well that is gonna break the game actually yeah you're gonna get some errors and then you're gonna have to uh, revert the files or something which is not good if you've been modding a lot that day no has been hospitalized, that's good. How are we doing for food? Uh, drink and other, it's doing fine. I usually, I'm not happy with the amount of drinks we have currently though. I usually have about 5,000 just standing by. In case I, like uh, something genocidal happens and I end up only with that one kid who then has to survive for like uh, five years on his own. That's that was a pretty good fortress, I can tell you. That was a pretty good fortress. <laughs> that happened to me once. I had a kid survive, and he could uh, survive of the stocks. Uh, although it was only a year until, uh, well, the migrants did get slaughtered by the zombies. Though it took about five years, probably, until I was able to get some people inside, and then we're just rebuilding from there. Right, so the uh, arena is now ready for further construction. And the way we want to do this is uh, we need a lot of floor hatches, which we'll place over these. And then we'll designate each uh, as a dump zone, each of, these, each of these holes, and we'll lock the hatches. And the way this works is we stuck by all our captured stuff here in their cages. And when the, we want to get rid of them, we assign them to be dumped, and they'll be dumped straight down these holes. Uh, we can actually, by the way, uh, paint the whole room for the uh, dump zone, so we don't have to assign to each each dump zone individually. And they're gonna get dropped down without the uh, dwarves getting spooked, or without the even bigger creatures getting uh, free of them of their grasp. Which is gonna happen if you try to haul them a longer distance. And they're gonna drop down here, and we're gonna have to have this whole place sealed up. And we can shoot them through the uh, fortifications we're gonna place, or something else nice like that. And that's the plan. Now, do we have enough floor hatches? I don't, I don't think we do. Floor hatch. Let's see here. Floor hatch. No, I don't think we do have enough, but we'll place what we have. I have enough for four. The right. <clears throat> so we're gonna have to order in a whole bunch of a whole bunch of those hatch covers. We'll make a lot of them. We're probably gonna need them in the future anyway. Uh, another thing in this fortress I would do otherwise. I think I've been talking about that now. Uh, I usually do in my fortress otherwise. In uh, ah, what the fuck am I talking? Uh, another thing I like to do differently in my fortresses. Right now that I came out sort of clear, is I would have huge stockpiles. Like I, I have these all, all these mine shafts I've dug up. Uh, I'll, I've had them filled with stockpiles because I do end up with a, with huge amounts of crap <laughs> in my usual fortresses because I don't want anything to go to waste, and I also do craft like uh, a lot of excess stuff. <clears throat> we can uh, now continue the. Uh, Staircase, I, th I think. Oh. Dig I. Well, designate I actually. You know, who cares? <clears throat> uh, 
And that should do. And I think we're gonna hit hit the fun stuff soon. Uh, now, one thing I want to do before I call it off, I don't think I'm gonna call it off yet because this has not been a long recording session yet. I'm gonna record for quite a long time. But yeah, the thing I want to uh, check is, uh, let's see here, I think it's big R, yep. I'm gonna check if we get a, uh, if I can find a, uh, yeah, you can see all the corpses and graves now. Uh, I'm gonna see if we, I can find a legendary weapon somewhere buried deep beneath the ground, because that's something I generally haven't found yet and it's a pretty awesome place from what I've seen I've, I've seen it you know sort of in, in some community games I guess or you know stuff people have written you know their reports on their games but I haven't found them myself and the reason for this is they won't show up all the time and I've been very unlucky or I've just when I've been lucky enough I haven't been looking for them for these legendary weapons deep beneath the ground because they're gonna uh, yeah not uh, hmm. it doesn't look like that see they might have changed that though uh, because that's gonna basically there's a certain structure down there, and it's definitely worth um, worth exploring. There, I'm gonna warn you. There are some dangers there, and uh, all right, Neil Aban figured has withdrawn from society. Hopefully, he's gonna make something epic. Uh, but he's probably just gonna go and craft some wooden wooden splint of epic proportions. We'll see. <clears throat> uh, yeah, there's a uh, one or two dangers down there, and you're gonna have to uh, remember uh, to be uh, to not be too greedy. Let's just say that and leave it there. Yeah, hopefully we're gonna dig into candy soon enough. Not though. Even if we can't find the uh, structure. Oh, there's a lot of nice stuff here. A lot of nice stuff. Shit. Oh. I think at this rate we could just stop crafting all together and just buy everything our fortress needs. But that's the lazy way and it also takes a lot more time. So we're not gonna to do that. Plus, chances are you wouldn't get like uh, 20 floor hatches from merchants. Um, up down stairway. right let's see I think we did um, F1 seems to uh, drop you off in the uh, embarked zone of where you where your wagon was which is good you can also assign new hotkeys from um, not H uh, another thing we haven't looked at is that uh, roots and we also haven't Look at the path stuff because I haven't really needed to. Oh, 
basically when your FPS dra starts dropping, you can uh, uh, assign these routes and stuff uh, and put them on higher or lower priority so that so dwarves generally don't use lower priority routes unless they absolutely have to take them to reach their destination and they're also always gonna prefer uh, high um, high priority routes so you can uh, sort of so they won't try to pathfind where they don't need to and that's gonna really reduce your uh, FPS lag significantly significantly structs of silver that's good I think we're quite deep in the earth now struck some tetrahead right praise Galena yeah there's a lot of stuff here more than we can mine really we're, we are definitely digging deep now. And we're worried about digging up all that stuff we reveal later. Because uh, we do have a sort of an excess of stuff already at this point. I've been making too much stuff. Alright. Is this all coal? No. Haven't found any flax, which is a shame. So make some iron spears, some iron crossbows, and let's also make some more helms. Yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> we're pretty rich at this point. We're probably legendary among dwarves, and the king should soon take notice and we're probably the uh, most successful fort in every, every way this world has seen because unlike pretty much every other fortress in this world we haven't gotten all our, all our citizens butchered every five years by some random goblin siege no because we have the secret secrets of rough rock salt bridges yeah that, that's the thing I was gonna say earlier um, I do hope they uh, add something that g can break through walls and uh, break through walls and uh, bridges, you know, constructed walls and bridges. They, in the future, they will be able to climb over the uh, walls you've built, which is pretty cool. At least low walls. I'm not sure how how to what extent they can. Walk. Also, trees are gonna be multi-tile, that's gonna be really cool, all that. Um, but yeah, it's sort of too easy to travel down, currently. They should have some sort of a... Uh, well, yeah, they're gonna add siege engines eventually. And I think that's gonna basically mean that my old rough rock salt bridge here wouldn't hold the sieges off anymore. I'd actually have to fight instead of just turtling down, which is gonna be a pretty big change, I can tell you. Uh, because I haven't really lost a fortress. Uh, unless I've been doing some sort of a challenge stuff like uh, embarking on a uh, like this, like hell, living hell where everything reanimates and that stuff. No, if I have enough time to uh, construct my uh, rock salt bridges and I can have some moments of peace on my lands, I usually don't lose. Uh, even because it's pretty easy to make precautions against stuff, I have found. Uh, for instance, this place would, well, it already serves as a uh, sort of a plug hole to the lower caverns. If we lock this, I don't think anything can pass through it. They can't break stuff that's above them. 
So we would be safe even if we awake something in the darkness. Or like a legion of something. In hell or something. If there's a hell. You know, if, if we uh, duck to hell. I'm sure that that won't, ha that won't happen though. I'm sure. You know. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, well, there is a hell. I can tell you that. If you watched this so far, I think you played Dwarf Fortress before and you know about this stuff. But I'm not gonna tell you how you find it, or if you can't even find it, and so on. Uh, more digging. I found a lot of good stuff. This mine shaft alone is probably worth about like a million. Once we dug it out, dig it out. Dig it out. Uh, the outer fortifications are complete soon. <laughs> we just need to construct the outer gate now. Which is from build. Nope. Build. Uh, F. No. <sighs> Can't really remember. Where's the bridge? Where's the bridge at? There. I'm gonna change change the height height. Place it there. Um, uh, raises to that direction, and I'm gonna change the width width like that. Um. Actually, yeah, let's let's do that, and we'll construct it out of the old, uh, out of the old rock salt blocks. And we'll also construct the uh, Neil Arban figured Cook has created Amud Cod, a magnetite figurine. Check it out. Yeah, that's there. I think that's a good place to call it. Um, up to you next time. Check out my other videos. And uh, 